Meat District Club called Hell. Here's the story. You've noticed that we're in hell here, and uh, there are a lot of people on the wall. If you were in hell, who would you expect to see there? Well, definitely <laughs> OJ over there. Yeah. Starsky, too. <laughs> well, Starsky was a nice guy. Yeah, <laughs> That's me. Why do you say that? What is Drew Barrymore doing in hell? She went through hell already. Probably what she was doing on Earth, off. I would imagine. Exactly. <laughs> Sick of it all has been through quite a bit, too. Ten years of worldwide road work on the international hardcore circuit. We see the hardcore scene going through cycles all the time in different parts of the world. It all depends on where we're playing, but sometimes the scene is huge in Europe, and then falls off, and it comes back in America. What keeps hardcore going, do you suppose? Is it just the, the like intensity loyal, of the fans? Loyal fans, yeah. 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 So what sort of person is attracted to hardcore? It's not just like a guy with a gun you know, roaming the streets late <laughs> well, at night. Thank God. <laughs> it's, um, that's actually how it was getting uh, towards the yeah. late 80s for a little while. And yeah. that it ruined the entire scene in New York because uh, there were too many kids that thought they had to be a tough guy in the scene as opposed to be a creative force. What do you think yeah. these guys have moved on to? Um, oh, jail, 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 jail. Yeah. The band's new album, aptly titled Built to Last, features clean, streamlined sound by producer Garth, who's previously twirled dials for Rage Against the Machine, L7, and Jesus Lizard. How do you think this, uh, your, new, your new album has evolved from the rest of your stuff? The sounds are more distinct. You can actually it's really well produced. tell what the <laughs> different instruments are doing. Yeah. It's not like a big mess. <laughs> Hardcore is probably easy when you're young and angry and full of things to say, but how does it hold up when you've been at it for the better part of a decade? Let's go inside and find out. Have you guys gotten a little less wild over the course of your career? Do you feel yourselves sort of mellowing a little bit? Or? First time we were on stage, I didn't move a muscle. I was so <laughs> scared. I think now it's like we're very comfortable moving and playing the songs. You know, yeah. we play a lot we're tighter as a band. Are you doing a video tonight for us and them? Yeah, yeah. us versus them. <laughs> Who's them? Well, <laughs> well we're us. Name. All right, yeah. Well, we're okay. us. That's so good. this is good. <laughs> <laughs> and them are bad. Well, not everybody else is the enemy, it turns out. Companies sometimes give us clothes. Up until a few years ago, With big labels on them, these, sort of, logos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. these sort of things never happened before. Wow. You'd never get free shoes or free shirts, but now all of a sudden, <laughs> you start <laughs> people give you free clothes. I'm like, hey, I don't have to do laundry. <laughs> Sick of it all is now touring Europe again, not surprisingly, but the band will be back on the road here this summer as part of the Warp Tour. We'll be back too, don't drift off. Next up on the Week in Rock, a 